This is an excerpt from the Art of Reggae Organ Course 1, Lesson 1. Art of Reggae is an online educational platform offering top-ranking lessons, courses, practice loops, and curated playlists for keyboardists that unlock the mysteries of this profound and transformational musical art form. This course offers seven more lessons that cover just about all aspects of reggae organ playing. In this lesson, you'll learn about one of my favorite aspects of reggae keyboard playing, the bubble, sometimes called the shuffle. It's a trance-like rhythm with precise attacks on the upbeats, perfectly complementing the piano and guitar chop or skank. You'll learn about the origin of the bubble and how to get the right tone and how to lock into the groove on both a real Hammond organ and a digital keyboard. Please hit like, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit notifications so you know when we drop new material, then head over to the Art of Reggae website and sign up for your seven day free trial. The bubble itself is a staccato rhythmic attack that takes place on all of the upbeats opposite the chop or skank that plays two of the downbeats per measure. The chop rhythm is also played by the rhythm guitar. The organ bubble can be played with either hand, but probably more often it's played with the left hand while the right hand plays the chop. For most of the examples throughout this course, I'll be using the configuration left hand bubble and right hand chop. Here is the bubble in its most basic form, playing along to the first or A section of the Art of Reggae Steer It Down original. This song is in a straight eighth feel, and I'm using the low tone bubble sound on a real Hammond organ. I'll also show an example using a digital instrument with a piano organ split. Are you ready to dig in? Here is the left hand alone playing the bubble only. Notice it's a very precise staccato attack. Without the bubble, you can hear how empty the groove feels. Let's bring the bubble back in and feel it. Dropping out the bubble feels empty. Back in, only this time with some right hand variations on the chop, while you keep the left hand bubble strong and steady. If you need to, just practice bubbling for a while and then add the chop. Now I'll demonstrate the basic bubble using a digital keyboard. You can see the rest of this lesson and a whole lot more at artofreggae.com. And in the meantime, please leave a comment because I love to hear what you're thinking.